I want to show you a picture of my son, and I want to show you that because uh, it, when you do that st standard analysis on him in this state, he's perfectly healthy. You cannot distinguish him from a, from a track star if, if you don't see him. <laughs> and so that's one of the problems I think we have in the disease is this distortion that there's nothing wrong with him. There's a lot wrong with him. And it's a very, very serious disease. And so, um, in fact, it was actually my son, when he was st still able to talk, um, uh, who said that when uh, he heard about the PACE trial and that they recommended exercise, he said, these people are absolutely nuts. It makes you worse. Well, exploring that a little bit, that's absolutely true. The recommended procedure of, of, of doing exercise, graded exercise, is absolutely nuts, and it makes them worse. So in fact, one of the diagnostic criteria for this disease is uh, uh, post-exertional malaise or, or post-exertional intolerance. So that if you do exercise, you get worse, that's a diagnostic criteria. And how in the world can, can governments recommend exercise? It's barbaric. And it's extremely barbaric. And it's barbaric to the extent of, in fact, it's sort of government-sponsored malpractice. And I think we need to think of that as malpractice. It's clear evidence that that's not the right thing to do. How in the world can it continue? And so I just want to put that on the record. So in my case, as my son, this is a fair case, he would be often thought of a malingerer. Uh, he wants to be sick. Uh, here's a person that has laid in that bed for six years. Uh, we get to change his sheets about every three months because he can't tolerate us being in the room. He cannot talk. He cannot eat. He cannot look at us. We have a tube into the top of his intestine for feeding. He cannot drink, so we have another uh, line uh, into his chest that goes into his heart for giving him saline. We have to do that, go in every day to do that. We go in a prescribed time so he knows it's going to happen, and he has to cover up his face so he doesn't accidentally see us in the room. And he basically meditates while we're in there to, to, to not uh, get too, uh, too extreme. <clears throat> He also says, uh, in sign language, that he cannot kill himself. Because he said there are some people who will not kill themselves because they're not as bad as he is, and that keeps them going. And if he were to kill himself, they would feel the, the, the ability to kill themselves. So he promises he will not kill himself. And it's not for him, it's for everybody else. So I would challenge uh, any of the government officials to say that this is not real. There's nothing wrong. To look at the data and look at the patients. This is not the only patient like this. There's thousands and thousands of people like this. <clears throat>